I want to turn to America's accountant, Dan Geltrude, now. Inflation, Dan, going up another 3%. How do we fix this? How do we stop that from happening? Well, that, if, if that happens, that would be really damaging to the economy. So, you know, we started too late in addressing this. Initially, we had a supply problem with tremendous demand. And how did we handle that? We kept flooding the economy with more money, therefore creating more demand. And by doing that, we pushed inflation really up there. So now the Fed, the Federal Reserve, did not react to that, meaning start to raise interest rates to start to cool down the economy. They sat back and said, this inflation is only temporary. Now what we see happening is this rising cost for fuel. Now this really complicates matters because yeah. when you have fuel costs going up, Everything goes up because right. all goods and services have to go from point A to point B. How do they get there? Well, they use energy like gasoline. And right. that's why right now we are in a very slippery slope with inflation. Yeah. And I'm hearing you say two things. The Fed was slow on the trigger to raise rates to try to head off this inflation surge. Uh, and the fact that there's so much money flooding the economy right now, that inflation is almost inevitable. The economy was already struggling because of COVID. Uh, does this war in Ukraine now kill any hope of recovery, slow the recovery? It's really a combination of things, that ripple effect you're talking about. Yeah, so, you know, when you're talking about international trade and we really are dealing with worldwide economies coming together, everything being integrated. When you have a situation like a major war that's going on between Russia and Ukraine, of course we are going to feel that pain. First yeah. and foremost, oil prices. We saw those rising dramatically. Now they've come down a little bit in terms of the price per, per uh, barrel of fuel. So that's a good sign. However, the longer that conflict continues, we're going to see an interruption of worldwide trade. So yeah. that can help things. Okay, a little Econ 101 here. I think this might be obvious to you, certainly. Uh, people are spending less on other things because they're spending more on gas. I mean, that is a common and rational reaction on the part of the consumer. Uh, how much is that going to threaten any economic recovery that's underway? Well, it is going to threaten the economy, and I'll tell you why. Look, having gas in your car, for example, again, going from point A to point B, that is a necessity. And paying your rent and food, necessities. So now what happens? You need to look at your budget and you start cutting back on some of those ancillary things that maybe are not exactly necessary. What yeah. happens there? People stop spending money and the economy starts to slow down. And we start to approach what's called stagflation, meaning high inflation, high unemployment. Because as businesses have their businesses slow down, what happens? They need less employees. Okay, I want to ask you this question because it's dear to the hearts of many of my neighbors who didn't refi when they had the chance when mortgage rates were at rock bottom. Are these mortgage rates, they're going to continue to climb, it would appear. How high are they going to go? How long is that spike going to last? Well, it's really hard to say because, once again, this is going to be dictated by how the Federal Reserve reacts to inflation, meaning are they going to continue to raise interest rates? I believe they are going to because they have to fight inflation. If that yeah. happens, we're going to see mortgage interest rates also rise. Now, how does that impact everyone? Well, first of all, what's going to happen is the real estate market is going to start to cool down. Why? Because when you're buying real estate, how do you look at the purchase? You do it by what's my monthly cost. If interest rates go up, that means the price yeah. of real estate must come down to level out that, that monthly payment. So I think we're going to see a cooling off of the real estate market because of this. Yeah. Well, you've given us a lot to think about. America's accountant, Dan Gel Geltrude. Thanks for joining us, Dan. Thank you.